Hello and welcome to 3 r CNC. In this video I will show you how to assemble this V2 space mouse from Teaching Tech. So this is not my original design but I did make some modifications. Primarily the mounting of the USB port on the outside so you can have the USB cable detachable. Before it was mounted inside with zip ties here on the bottom plate and then the cable was just routed out a small hole in the back right here but now uh, the usb cable is detachable and because of that i also moved the positions uh, of some of these mounting points down here because otherwise that would in interfere with the mounting of the bracket inside here so as you can see i already have the space mouse assembled right here so i'll take it apart for this video but that also means I've had a few days to test it out and I will say for the price for what it is it actually seems to work really quite well and it's also a really fun project with 3D printing, electronics and some programming as well. So of course I'll leave a link down below for the original download as well as my remix with the USB mount on the outside and also of course a video uh, from Teaching Tech, the original video where he assembles the v1 uh, so the assembly is not the same but the setup and the software is and i won't go through that in this video so go check that out and also the original uh, download where there's step-by-step -step instructions with pictures as well for the assembly of this v2 version so step one is to slide on the ball joints on the ps2 joysticks then take a drill bit drill a hole right through the center of the joystick. Uh, I used a 1.5 millimeter drill bit and then a M2 self-tapping screw 6 millimeter to just attach it on there. Before attaching these four joysticks you will have to bend out these pins slightly so the connector won't interfere with these corner pieces right here. After that it's just a matter of attaching them all around just like this with two M3 by six millimeter self-tapping screws. This can be a bit hard to access with the regular screwdriver, so I made this adapter for my 12.8 millimeter ratchet, so I can use regular bits, and that way it makes it a lot easier to uh, attach these uh, screws right here. Now let's attach the Pro Micro. So use this small mount I made right here. And this is from the remix so it just slots in just like that then there's a slot in the 15 millimeter spacer as well and it's all attached with two 10 millimeter uh, socket head cap screws So right now I think it's the best time to make up all of the wiring. So you'll have to wire power and ground as well as the signal wires to all of the joysticks. And there's a wiring diagram on the original download for this. So I won't go through that, but you will have the A joystick facing you. And then I think it's easiest if you just put on this spacer temporarily. And then you'll have to kind of just try and measure out the wires from the controller up to the different joysticks. It's a bit time consuming, but I think this is the best time of doing this. So I've just marked up which joysticks the wires are for, so I just go ahead and plug them in and we'll continue. So now is a good time to attach the big joystick connecting all of the ball joints inside so you just put that in on the top and this plate goes in from underneath and make sure none of the wires get caught and then you just screw that in with four additional m3 by 10 uh, socket head cap screws and this is of course for the final assembly uh, you would want to try out all of the joysticks by moving them individually uh, when you have uploaded the code to 
the microcontroller so you see that all of the inputs are correct in the correct directions and you get outputs from all of the joysticks so this is for the final assembly after that is done we can go ahead and attach the top plate with an additional four m3 by 10 socket head cap screws in the four corners right here and now after this is also a good time to organize some of these wires if you want to with zip ties i'm not sure it's really necessary because they will bend out of the way if you move this joystick but if you want to make it look a bit better you can attach them there are attachment points right here on the side walls of the casing so after that all that's remaining is attach this bottom plate right here and you will put counterweights uh, in these places with zip ties if you want to or just attach it down to your desk so it is secure with some double sided tape or if you want to add weights right here and maybe some dappening feet on the bottom so it stays in place. So just like that the V2 Space Mouse by Teaching Tech is assembled and ready for first test. But that's it for this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.